Hey friends, today we're gonna get ready and create a very fuss-free makeup look. I grabbed some of my favorite products. These are products that are just really high performing and we're gonna create a look that is simple, doesn't take a lot of time, and is really a look that you can take from day to the office to a dinner out. It's not super glam, but it's also like very polished and pulled together. I did team up with Nordstrom, so all of these products I'm gonna link down below in the description box with shade names that you can pick up at Nordstrom. Before we get started, I also wanted to talk about a little bit of new skincare that I picked up from Nordstrom. I picked this all up over the weekend. I have been in my skincare era. <laughs> I'm 41 years old and you know, my skin's changing. It has been for a couple of years and I have just really been focused on taking very good care of my skin. And so that's really where I've been looking at like investing a lot of my like beauty budget is into really great skincare. I have an esthetician here in Austin who is the most qualified person to speak about skin in my opinion because her skin is just flawless. It is oh, like you just stare at her skin. You're like, oh my gosh, how do you get skin like that? So anything she recommends, I go out and buy and she gives me the honest, brutal truth. She doesn't tell me what I wanna hear. You know, sometimes I'll be like, well, can't I use this product? Isn't that gonna be as good? And she's like, no, it's not as good, you need this. But she'll also say, you don't need this. Don't buy this, you don't need this. You know, so I really trust everything she says. So I wanna jump into a few products that she has recommended to me. Some of them I've been using for about two months and then some of them I just picked up over the weekend, but I'm excited to get into them. So let's start first with this Osea hydrating serum. This is the Hyaluronic C Serum. And the way that this came into conversation is she had recommended to me a moisturizer a couple months ago that I bought and used and loved, but it's very pricey. So it was time for me to repurchase that. And so I texted her, I was like, hey, Martina, is there anything else that I can buy that is as good that isn't, <laughs> isn't that pricey? And I said, here's the deal. I will repurchase it, but I just went through it really quick. I used it for morning and night, and I think my husband used it about a dozen times. So I need something that's gonna last me longer. I'll spend that if I know that I can get an extra month out of it. And she's like, okay, well, let's talk about your routine. What are you using? And I told her, and she's like, you need to be using a hydrating serum regularly. Now I've used hyaluronic serums. You guys have seen me use them here. I, I like to prep underneath my eyes with them. So it's not a new product to me, but it's not a product that has been a staple in my routine. So she's like, go pick up this one from Osea. It's a really great brand. Brand and I really love this hydrating serum. So I just grabbed this this weekend. I've used it the last four mornings. It's really nice. I do love this brand. It's a very lightweight serum. It plumps up fine lines and wrinkles. It also has like snow mushroom in here, which adds like a layer of hydration to the skin. I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes now to prep for concealer because I have done my skincare this morning and I've already applied my tinted SPF. So I don't wanna apply this all over the face and kind of break that up. It feels very, very nice. So I picked this up. I'm excited to dive into this and use this. Now I did repurchase that product that she got me hooked on <laughs> a couple of months ago. It is the Augustness Bader The Cream. Now last time I purchased the Rich Cream, which is similar to this, but just a little richer. I loved that product, you guys. I was using it morning and night. It was just divine, incredible. But I ran out of it and I feel like I went through it pretty quickly. But like I said, I was using it morning and night. I'm pretty sure Paul used it, you know, probably a dozen times or more. So I thought, okay, how can I make this last? So I got this, I got the cream. It's a little bit of a lighter version and I'm gonna be using this during the day. And right now I'm testing a few more really rich night creams. I'm actually testing the, uh, I think it's called the soothing cream. I'll link it down below and I'll put a little picture here, but it's by this brand and it's in the jar. It's like the most rich moisturizer. And they gave me a sample of that from Nordstrom. So I'm testing that at night, but I also picked this one up from Osea. It's the collagen dream night cream. I just love the texture of this. And you know, this was a brand that came recommended from Martina. I've also used a lot of their body products and really enjoyed it. Oops. I've also used a lot of their body products and really enjoyed them. So I tested this at Nordstrom. It Oh, the smell, it smells like a spa. It smells like a very high-end luxe spa. It's like eucalyptus or lavender or one of those just really divine scents. So I thought at night when I'm going and doing my skincare ritual, smelling this every night will be a treat. So I'm testing this out. And then one other product that I picked up that I'm really excited to incorporate into my skincare routine is the Sola Wave Facial Wand. So this uses red light therapy. It's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles, dark circles, depuffing. It has a red light therapy. It also has like warm therapy. Now, the way that you use this is you use it on clean, dry, well, not dry skin, actually. You use a little activating serum first, but your skin is clean. You put the serum on, you turn this little guy on, and this 
actually shifts and rotates so you can just kind of get different areas of the face and you just run it across the face. It's a 12 minute treatment, which I know is a long time, but I was looking online and it says you can do it for five minutes. So I haven't yet done it for 12. I've been averaging about five or six minutes. It feels really nice. The first time I did it, I stood at the counter and did it. And then the second time I did it, I just was watching TV and I did it and it was, you know, the time passed really quickly. So I'm excited to use this using a skincare device. I've used several over the years. I've used new face. I've used the Zip Halo, which I really like that one. I just need to be consistent. You know, these products are effective and they work, but you have to be consistent with it. And that has been where I have failed. So just a few new skincare products and I'm excited to share. Let's go ahead and get into the makeup. So the foundation that we're going to be using today is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is a favorite of mine. And I think it's pretty good for most skin types. If you have very oily skin, you would probably prefer something a little more matte. But what I love about this is the finish that it gives. It's just really like a soft, radiant finish. It's not shiny. It's not greasy. It lasts and looks beautiful all day and it gives fantastic coverage. So I also like the consistency. It's not heavy. It's very thin. So it's very spreadable and blendable and you don't need it to apply a lot. So I'm just going to start in the center of the face and kind of just bounce the brush to blend out. I would love to know what are some of your favorite facial treatments to get? That is another thing that I'm focused on being good about this year and throughout the years is booking and scheduling facial treatments, whether that's a facial or it's a micro needling or BBLs. I've done a little bit of all of them, but I just haven't been consistent about keeping up with them. And I am determined you guys to take care of my skin. And as I get older, I find that I like to actually wear less makeup and almost like the more makeup I put on my skin, the worse it looks, you know? So you can see that I just used a little bit of that foundation. I didn't even really do a full pump, but it has blended out over my entire face. The coverage is perfect. It's pretty light. If I wanted more coverage, I could go in and add a little more, but I don't think I really need it. So we're gonna stop there. The concealer that we're gonna use is the Bobbi Brown Skin Full Cover Concealer. I love this concealer. It's a very great concealer for mature or dry under eyes. It's very creamy and hydrating. It is full coverage, so just make sure you don't use too much. I'm just gonna put a little bit there. I'm gonna put a little bit right here in the outer corner. Okay, we're gonna go in and blend this concealer out. This is the really good one that you can kind of let self set. So what I'm gonna do first is just kind of spread it, but not completely blend it out. Just spread it a bit, and then I'm gonna let it sit for like 30 seconds or so, and then go back and blend out the edges. Doing that, giving it a little bit of time to dry down a tiny bit, it's gonna help just build coverage without having to use more product. So let's let that sit for a second. Okay, so now let's go back and blend this out. Yeah, the coverage you get from this concealer is just so good, but it doesn't look heavy. I just like to take whatever's left over and sweep it across the eyelid to brighten the eyelid and conceal any darkness that we might have there. Perfect, okay, we are good. So the skin is concealed, covered. I've got a nice little glow happening here. We are gonna mattify some of this, but we are good. Okay, so let's go ahead and set everything with powder. I'm going in with the NARS Soft Matte Advanced Reflecting Powder. So this is just a really lightweight, sheer pressed powder. And I'm just gonna take a little powder brush. It's a little more dense and flat. And I'm gonna use this to kind of precision powder. So we're gonna just powder right here in the forehead, tone down that shine a little bit, set the makeup. We are going to set underneath the eyes and around the nose. This is where I tend to get a little more oily throughout the day. And if my makeup is gonna move or separate, it usually happens right there. And I'm also gonna go right around the nose. A little bit on the chin and we are going to kind of leave it there. So I didn't really powder out here. To warm up the skin, we're gonna go in with powder bronzer. This is the NARS Powder Bronzer in Laguna. This is a product that has just like stood the test of time. I feel like I can remember using this in my 20s. You know a product's good when you've used it for decades, especially in the beauty industry where there's like a new makeup launch every week it seems like. Okay, and I'm keeping the bronzer kind of light. I'm also gonna sweep a little bit right here into the hairline. So now we've got a little warmth to the skin. We're not doing any contouring today. We're just kind of keeping a very light, natural, sun-kissed look. We can kind of sweep whatever's left on the brush onto the side of the nose. That just ties the bronzer in all together. For blush, we're gonna go in with the Armani Powder Blush in the shade 50. 
It's the Luminous Silk Powder Blush. And this kind of reminds me of like NARS Orgasm. It's a golden shimmery pink, really, really beautiful. We're gonna use a small blush brush because we're going to just pop this right here on the apples of the cheek and keeping that color concentrated to like this little small area here. Now this does have some shimmer to it as you can see, so it is highlighting the skin and it's a pretty gold shimmer. This would look really beautiful on tan skin, but it's nice because the color is not too dark, so the fair skin can wear this too. Perfect, okay, that just blends out so pretty. Okay, so moving on to the eyes, we're gonna keep the eyes very simple. We are gonna use an eyeliner, we're gonna use a cream shadow, and we're gonna call it a day. So I'm going in with the Trish McAvoy Gel Eyeliners, and this has got to be one of my favorite gel liner formulas. If you want something really creamy and silky that you can smudge very easily. This is the shade Deep Aubergine, and it's just a really nice, rich brown. So I'm gonna line this on my eyes, and I'm taking it all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and that's not usually what I do, but we are gonna go over this with a cream shadow here shortly, and so it's gonna really lighten this liner up and also kind of smudge it out. So you don't have to be perfect with this line, you really don't. Your main goal right now is just to get this liner at the lash line to create some intensity and richness there. Do you see that? I mean, it's just stunning. Next, I'm gonna go in with the cream shadow. I'm going to take a little crease brush, and it's a little more of a dense crease brush, so that I can pick up the shadow and apply it on the lid and smudge out this liner. So we're gonna start and we're gonna apply it right at the base of the lashes first to really work that liner before that liner has time to set. You can also do this one eye at a time. If you don't wanna work real quickly, do one eye at a time so that liner doesn't have time to dry down before you get to the other eye. So this isn't perfect yet, but I do wanna go over to the other side before this liner completely dries down and I want to have some time to manipulate it a little bit. It's a really beautiful bronzy shade. Okay, perfect. So now we have a good base down. We've kind of smudged out that liner. Now I'm gonna go back in and we're just gonna perfect it. So I'm gonna load up the brush and we're going to apply it right here on the lid and kind of sweep it up and blend up the crease a tiny bit. That way when I look directly like straight, you can see a little bit of that shadow diffused above the crease. The eyeshadow is done, you guys. That quick, that easy. You could leave the lower lash line clean and bare. I'm actually gonna go into the shadow and I'm gonna load up this little smudger brush. I'm gonna load up both sides and we're gonna use this as our liner. It's gonna give a very soft line underneath the eyes. It's really just gonna give a little definition but not really look like a liner. We're just gonna sweep this back and forth on the lashes. Okay, and I'm just building it up a little more to get a little more intensity there. I'm gonna take the brush that we used for concealer and I'm just going to kind of run it back and forth underneath that just to clean up and make everything look real nice. Lovely, okay, let's move on to mascara. For mascara, we're gonna be going in with the Dior Lash Primer and the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. This mascara really doesn't need primer, you guys. It's pretty dramatic on its own, but we're gonna just do a tiny bit of this because why not? <laughs> Since we're keeping the eyes kind of light and basic and there's not a whole lot going on in terms of shadows, we're gonna go extra dramatic with the mascara. Okay, let's go in with the YSL Lash Clash. We're gonna build a good lash here. This mascara is really dramatic. Tons of volume, lots of length. I can only think of like one other mascara that is this dramatic. It's the Jones Road. This is a great formula. This is a little drier, and I do notice that you need to replace it a little more frequently than other mascaras, so just a little heads up with this one. I think I need to get a new one, actually. This one is still working really well, but I can tell it's time for a new fresh tube. Ah, oh, but look at that. Just look at how much fullness it gives. On the lower lashes, I'm gonna keep it very light, like just a couple of tiny little sweeps to pass over the lashes. To line the lips, I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and this is the original Pillow Talk. I also love medium too, if you want a little more color. This is really good as a lip cheat. Like if you want to overline the lips slightly, this is a great color, because it is just like a light, soft, natural lip color. So when it fades, it's gonna look really natural. To top it, we're gonna use the Gloss Sticks from YSL. This is the shade 13. It's kind of like this really pretty, like peachy shade. These are really nice. It's like a lipstick, but it's super glossy on the lips. I have them in a few shades and I really like them. Oh, look at that color, so pretty. 
good amount of color. You can really build it to get full color. A lot of products like this tend to lean on the more sheer side and you can get a sheer wash of color from this, but you also can build it up to get like full opacity. So these are really nice. And that's the finished look. Super simple. You could pull this off at home in about eight minutes, definitely 10 minutes or less. There's not a whole lot of steps or fuss, but as you can see, you have a full polished look. I mean, this look could take you to evening. It could take you to meetings, but it's not too much for daytime. It's just really, really easy, fuss free. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave all the links and shade names in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.